I have bought a camera. <laughs> I am absolutely obsessed with this dress. Dramatic. <laughs> this is an incredible dress. Darlings, welcome back to the Bubble Diaries. This is my third installment of my festive video, so thank you so much for joining me again today. If you are new, my name is Leslie. Welcome, it's lovely to have you here. Thank you for watching. So for today's video, basically what I'm gonna do is go through some ideas, some outfits that you could maybe wear for Christmas Day or even New Year's Eve. So they kind of start in a scale of being slightly more casual and then we move, do move up to really quite glam out there outfits. So I'm hoping that there's something in the middle, you know, for anybody that's watching, you can maybe see something that's quite nice. I actually don't know where I'm going to land on the scale this year myself, so I'm hoping this video will help me decide. Because I have in the past gone maybe slightly more casual, like a skirt and a jumper vibe. But then sometimes it's nice and particularly this year because there's not been that many opportunities to really dress up it's nice just to go all out so there is a full range of outfits so i'm also having my usual glass of bubbles although i cannot tell you what time the time it is because <laughs> it's actually far too early to be drinking you know appropriately but Cheers if you are joining me. If you're not, I hope you'll stay and enjoy the video. Just a quick thing I wanted to mention. I'm sorry if my throat is sounding a wee bit scratchy. I actually bubbled a little bit too hard at the weekend. So I kind of think I was shouting. <laughs> so sorry about that. The other thing is that there's drilling going on outside. So I really hope it's not going to interrupt the video. But I do apologise in advance if you can hear it. The other really quick thing I'm going to say is I hope you are going to notice a difference with this video. Because... I have bought a camera. <laughs> so this is actually my second attempt at starting to film this video. Basically, that's why it's a little bit late. I wanted it done a bit earlier, but I had a complete nightmare trying to film with my phone. It was just the last straw and I thought, that is it, I'm not doing this for one minute longer. I absolutely love creating these videos and I just thought, I need a camera. So I have bought one, I can see myself, I can see what I'm filming. So. If you notice a difference, please do let me know. If you don't notice a difference, maybe just don't tell me because <laughs> I'm honestly really hoping this is going to improve the quality and just Im improve the experience overall. But anyways, that's enough. Let us get on with the first outfit. So the first outfit I wanted to show you was the Freddy outfit that you maybe have seen in my Christmas gift guide. So basically, I'll only just quickly show you this one as I know I've already talked about it but I just thought this is the cutest little outfit and actually I think it's really lovely for Christmas Day. It's kind of got that wintry white feel to it so if you're maybe not um, into the sort of more rich burgundy tones this is something really cute but it is an absolutely stunning set and I think I did show in the other video the sparkly bits in the tweed. I'll hopefully be able to show that there. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly pop this on for you. I'm not going to spend too long on this outfit. As I've said, I've already talked about it, but I just wanted to show it to you because I just know that there's so many girls that would probably absolutely love to have this. And it is actually a wee bit difficult to find. So this is this was from Butte Boutique and I bought the small, yeah, size small, which was uh, 8 to 10. So I will go and pop it on for you. So I've just popped back without the little waistcoat on, first of all, just to show it to you as an outfit, just the skirt and the top, because I do know that the, the waistcoat is it's quite extra, it's quite out there, so this is actually still so cute, and I actually think slightly more understated if you like the tweet, like the pattern, but just don't want to go, you know, the whole hog. <laughs> so I'm going to show you with the waistcoat, as I do think it makes an amazing little outfit, and it's, it's just so unique, and that's what I think I love about it, is it's not something that you would see in Topshop or, you know, even Zara, they do amazing tweed sets, but you don't see anything quite as special as this, I don't think. So I'll show you, I'll show you with the waistcoat. Okay, so here it is all together, and is this not just the cutest thing? Oh, there's the litter box. <laughs> I just absolutely love it. The little gold buttons, they're so chic, it's so elegant. I just think it is such a cute little outfit. And I've also just popped it with the white ankle boots. I think that's quite a nice way to sort of finish off the outfit. You could, of course, add a little berry just to really top it off. I'll maybe just quickly show you. I've just grabbed some accessories to show you as well because I do think like a pair of sunglasses, you know, if there's that winter sun that's just glinting in your eye, just pop on your sunglasses, that's you good to go. Or, of course, you could go for a berry, which this one actually doesn't fit me very well, so I'm probably not going to put it on quite right, but... 
this is if you, I guess, really wanted to just go out there with the outfit. Yeah, that doesn't look very good, but <laughs> hold on. So I just think with a little touch like that, that really just brings that sort of outfit fully together. This actually really reminds me of an outfit Blair wears in Gossip Girl. I think it's when she's ice skating with her dad. It's not these colours, but it's like a little tweed set. And I'm sure she's got a hat on and I think she has her white tights, which she could also add to this outfit, I think, as well. But I just thought this is so cute. It is one for the Gossip Girl lovers. Maybe if you like your pink tweed, it is super cute. But this is, this is probably the more casual end of the scale. Even though it's still quite a fancy outfit, the other ones are more dresses. So I will move on to them now. Moving on now to outfit number two, this is a little dress that I've picked up from New Look and it was only £10, so this one is probably the, the cheapest item that I have today but what I really liked about it is it's got that sort of satiny kind of feel, it's got really cute puff sleeves and it's of course that very Christmassy maroon kind of mulled wine burgundy colour so I actually just thought this is a really cute quite simple little dress so I will pop it on for you and I can show you what this one looks like. The only thing I will say, it's quite short on me and so I'm quite tall, like maybe like five, five, eight, so five, seven, five, eight. So that is the only thing to note, but I should go and pop it on and I'll show you what it looks like. So here is the little dress on and I have to say, I think this is so cute. It's got really nice details to it. So obviously you have the puff sleeves and it's really lovely ruching going down the arm there and what I like about it is that it's actually quite a long sleeve length because I do sometimes feel a bit self-conscious of my arms and it doesn't, it's not, you know, it's not cut, cutting you like here, it's actually come down quite long so that is something I really really love about this dress. I also love the square neckline because I think that is one of the most flattering sort of necklines. Personally, I find it to be so elegant. It like shows off your collarbone quite nicely, but it's also not low cut and you don't feel self-conscious that it is too low or anything. So I really do love a square neckline. The one negative I'm going to say is the length. Hopefully I'll show you a full length shot here because it's kind of skimming <laughs> at the back, I would say. It's just a tiny bit too short. This was the size eight that I went for. And I did originally think, is it a tiny bit too small? But actually I'm not sure whether the length would, would really make a difference because I actually think it fits quite well otherwise. So this is just the cutest little dress for 10 pounds though. I mean, what an absolute bargain. It's a lovely color. I don't think it looks necessarily that cheap or anything like that. I actually think it is really cute and just such a bargain. I also really think I could see like Blair or maybe Serena in this style of dress. I actually think Serena maybe wore something similar but in a mustard colour in one of the seasons. So definitely I think you could pair this with the Gucci tights, I think it would look really cute. Yeah, so this is dress number one and this was new look. I really thought it was a great option. Moving on now we have dress number two on and bear with me on this one if you're thinking what on earth is that? Like that's just <laughs> a bit much. <laughs> and I suppose it is It is different for me. Um, it's not maybe something I typically would have picked. However, there's some details to it that I really do love. And actually, again, it was a really reasonable price. And I do think there's some elements to it that are really cute. I will say this is probably my wild card. This is something a wee bit out there, a wee bit different. But I honestly think this is a really cute dress. Maybe not even for Christmas Day, but I think you could wear this to a wedding or some other sort of fancy event. So what I liked about it is it's like pink satin. It's got cute little polka dots all over it. And it has these amazing ruffled layers. I actually think that adds so much to this dress. I really don't think you'd think this was what it cost, which was about, I think 12 pounds. Obviously I have popped on my Gucci belt to accessorize it, but this would work with any black belt, any waist cinching belt. I've just gone for black to tie in with the polka dots and I've kept on the same black heels that I had on. So let me know what you think of this one. It is, it's a wild card. I also think, sorry to keep on mentioning Gossip Girl, but you know I am obsessed. I'm pretty sure Serena wears something this style. I mean, it's nothing like it really, because hers is a lemon color. But she's got these like full ruffles and I think she wears like a black choker, which I was actually trying to get, but I couldn't get it in time. You know, you could wear a little black choker or a black cuff and kind of jazz it up that way as well. But this is dress number two. It was honestly, I think it was $11.99 from New Look as well. So this is dress number two. Moving on, we have dress number three and this is from Lavish Alice, which is a company that 
I have always really liked their dresses, but I actually don't have anything from them, I don't think. But when I saw this, I absolutely just fell in love. I think this is the most Blair Walder of dress. It is so glam. You've got so many details to it. If you're thinking of Blair Walder in mind, I do think it's the details in her outfits are often so precise. You know, with this, you've got the puff sleeves kind of ruffled as well. You've got the diamante belt. You've got this little skirt that is slightly kind of frilled out the, the way. Long sleeves, this sort of blazer collar line. There's just so much going on with this dress. I love the fact you can tighten this belt as much as you want. I love the cinched in waist look. So I have done it <laughs> probably as tight as it can go. I think there's one more I could probably go for, but I'll leave it like that for just now. I really love this dress. The only, the only thing I'm a wee bit negative about is actually the height of these puff sleeves. I, to me, that is a little bit dramatic. So what I would maybe do is just pin it down slightly because otherwise I think if you had it like all up like that, that really does look kind of villainous almost. So I think a little bit further down is the only critique I would have of this dress. So I think this is, this is the size eight and I personally find Lavish Alice to be, I wouldn't say generous with their sizing, but they are, they're probably true to size, if, if slightly, slightly generous. So um, one of the other dresses that I have from them is the 10 and it doesn't actually fit, it is too big. So probably if you're between sizes, do size down with Lavish Alice. But I'll show you the back as well. I just thought this is an incredible dress. And to be honest, I really, I'm thinking this is the contender for Christmas day for me. I just think it's so festive. We've got that dark red color. I really love it. So let me know what you think. What are your thoughts on this one? I just personally think this is my favorite. The other thing I will say is the quality in these dresses really is incredible. Such a difference. The first two are obviously, they were much, you know, a lower price point, whereas this, I think when I purchased it, it was around about 30 to 40 pounds, but it was on a discount or in the sale. I've noticed their prices seem to be going up and down and select pieces are coming down and then going back up. So definitely keep an eye on their website if you are interested in any of the lavish Alice dresses. I will hopefully have everything linked in the description box, so make sure to check there if you are interested in any of the dresses. So yes, this is our dress number three, and I will move on to the next one. Okay, so I am back with our fourth dress now. This is still Lavish Alice. As you can probably tell, it's quite similar. It's got the same buckle detailing here. Obviously, it's a different color, and this bit is quite different. So what you have is this kind of like cake sleeve, which I do love. I think it's so glam and dramatic. <laughs> the only thing is I'm not absolutely in love with is this side here. I feel like this could have been slightly more elegant or maybe slightly more feminine. It's just, it's quite block, just going up straight like that, I guess, compared to this side. However, it does mean you focus attention on the cape, which is quite nice. I do, I love the color of this dress and it's a color I really want to wear more of, as people always say that redheads should wear like this forest green color, but I honestly hardly have anything this kind of shade. So let me know what you think of this one. What do you prefer? the burgundy or this one. Obviously the styles are different so it does depend on what you think. I'll say again the quality of this dress really is lovely. The material's nice and thick. It's all lined on the inside so I'll show you like it's kind of satiny on the inside there. It really is a nice quality dress and again you can cinch in that waist. This could probably go in. I actually might put it in a tiny bit more. I really love just absolutely <laughs> cinching that into the extreme just so you get that really lovely silhouette. So I do think these dresses are perfect for that. You could honestly cinch your waist right in and it gives you the lovely hourglass sort of shape. Sorry about that. <laughs> so yeah, let me know what you think. The length on both of them has been good, not too short as we know. I do struggle with that a little bit, but overall I think they're absolutely stunning dresses. I will just reiterate that they seem to be, I think back around about the 90 pound mark at the minute. But I definitely didn't pay that. I think I paid maybe like 40 at the most. So definitely keep checking as it does seem to be that they're sort of discounting them sporadically. But yes, this is dress number four I think we're on. Let me know what you think of this one. Which do you prefer, the burgundy or this sort of Everest green? Or sorry, the forest green colour. Here we are with the next dress. I have to say I do love, love, love this dress. But unfortunately it is just too big. I tried to sort of gently pull it in but it wasn't staying. So to give you an idea, I think if it was the correct size it would maybe sit a bit more like that. 
Overall, actually, the size is not bad in the sort of hip area down here. It actually fits well, but unfortunately, it's the waist and sort of up the top here, it's just a little bit too big. So this is the size 10. So that does show you, you know, there may be, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to say, but there may be, if you are between sizes, I would say size down. So I really like this dress because it's obviously like quite a cute, like sort of mink color and these lovely feathers make it so glam. The feathers are down at the bottom as well and the length is a bit higher on this end and it sort of slopes downward. So it is, it's quite glam. I would say this is probably one of the more glam dresses that I have in today's video. This is really something quite special, but this could also be perfect for a New Year's Eve dress. I feel like this is maybe more New Year's Eve. It depends how dressy you go for Christmas day, but I really do like this. It's just unfortunate it doesn't fit very well on me at the minute. So that is, again, Lavish Alice. And I think this one, this one was maybe slightly dearer. I think it was maybe closer to sort of 50 pounds, but again, I did purchase it when it, when it was on sale. Hopefully you can still see that it is a really, really nice dress. And again, the quality is lovely. It's quite thick, sort of satin. It feels lovely. It's really, really soft. And it's, it's actually really nice fitting around this sort of hip area. I think a satin dress that's tight like this and it's a cheaper material can just look so wrong. Whereas I actually think this does fit quite nicely down at the bottom there. And that's probably typical because I would say I am eight at the top, more of a 10 at the bottom. but. There we go, this is the next dress. Let me know what you think of this one. So this is the next dress and to be honest, I actually forgot I ordered this one because I ordered it separately. The first thing I did notice about this dress was I was slightly disappointed with the colour as I thought it was going to be like a lighter pink, whereas it is quite dark, a sort of musky kind of pink, but it is still really nice. And actually trying it on again, I do think it's quite flattering. Maybe it's because this one is definitely tighter. I think though it really pulls you in here and I, I do think it gives you quite a nice shape. I think it just goes to show with sizing sometimes you may just need to order both if you're between sizes because the green and the red I think really fitted quite nicely whereas this I do think is a touch too tight but I do really like it. The other thing I would say is that these sleeves may get very annoying if you're somebody that just gets frustrated with stuff like that. I think one you could maybe handle but two they are sort of flapping about a bit but you've got the gorgeous buckle detailing again. I do think it is really flattering overall. I think this is something maybe more Serena would wear rather than Blair, but I do think you could maybe see this on one of the, the episodes when they're going to like a sort of evening event or something like that. I think it's the sleeves that really add that drama. So if you are a fan of that, definitely have a look at Lavish Alice. So I'm gonna move on, I've got two more dresses to show you, so I really don't wanna hold things up, I will keep on moving. Here is the second last dress, thank you. If you're still watching at this point, I hope you're not getting too bored now. I didn't realize I actually had so many, to be honest. So this dress, this is one that I would really love to be able to pull off, but unfortunately, I just don't think it sits right. I think this, to be honest, is one of the most difficult styles of dresses. It reminds me of something they would wear in Hollywood and the sort of satin or silk just, I don't know, glides over their bodies. This, I don't know, <laughs> I don't think it's working for me. It's, it's maybe not also designed that nicely. I think this could have been slightly more delicate. It's, I love the material. It's like liquid gold almost. I think the color was described as champagne, which of course I loved. This is from ASOS and I think it was around about £40, which is not bad considering it is it's a floor length dress, but it's just not working for me. There is the back, you can see it's got a gorgeous glamorous back, which I do love, but no, I'm afraid this one is a no from me. What do you think? Have you ever worn a dress like this sort of style? Because I think it's one of the hardest dresses to pull off and unfortunately I, don't, I just don't really like it on me. But if you are interested in this kind of style of dress, definitely have a look at ASOS, as I actually think price-wise it's really reasonable considering it's, it's really an evening dress, isn't it? So we'll move on to the final dress and then we'll wrap up the video. Here I am with the last dress of the video and I have to say I am absolutely obsessed with this dress. I'm in love. I've actually had it for a wee while as I bought it for our trip to London that got cancelled for Jack's birthday so I haven't worn it. I was planning to wear this when we went out for one of the evenings in London and obviously I haven't been so I was kind of saving it for that and then I thought you know what it's actually quite a Christmassy dress as well. You've got details like the bows, the jewels, the ruffles, 
it is absolutely stunning and I'll show you the zip at the back is amazing. I don't know if you'll be able to see, if not I'll do a wee close up, but it's got little jewels that go all the way down. It almost looks kind of corseted as well. And I will say the quality of this dress is phenomenal. It's so thick, it just, it feels amazing. This dress I actually saw on two different girls on Instagram. So one was Grace Foley. I think she wore it with Grace to a London Fashion Week event. And I think that was maybe where I saw it first and I thought, oh my God, that dress is phenomenal. And then I actually saw it again on Tina Lee of Leather and Lace, if you follow her on Instagram. And it kind of just oh, made me think, no, I have to get that dress. And I was super lucky because I think it was around about £115, which obviously is very expensive for a dress. It's the most expensive in the video. However, it was originally, I think, about 160 And before that, I think it was actually up around like... £300 because it's I think it's Re Revolve but I bought it from ASOS and so I think in the end I paid for about I paid maybe like £120 or something around that mark because it was on sale to maybe like £160 and then I managed to get a discount code that worked on it so that's why I bought it and I hope you agree that it is absolutely unreal. It's just got so much going on. You've got the beautiful diamonty details here, this gorgeous puff sleeve, the bows at the elbow. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. But I think it's maybe a wee bit too much for Christmas day this year. I don't know whether, I feel like I'd rather save it for going to London. But I wanted to show it to you because as you can tell, I love this dress and yeah, let me know what you think. So we've come to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed seeing some different ideas for Christmas day outfits. Sorry if it was a little bit too long. I didn't realize how many dresses I actually had ordered. Oh dear. <laughs> anyway, I'd love, love, love if you could give the video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you like the video. If not, you don't have to, it's okay. But I'm really, really excited for the next year. Now that I've got my new camera, hopefully, things are going to be a wee bit smoother and it's going to be a bit easier to actually create the videos. So yeah, I wish you all the most merry, merry Christmas if I don't speak to you beforehand. Honestly, I have such a fun year doing this channel so I really hope you'll stay with me as we go into next year. I am thinking I'll do the what I got for Christmas video if you'd like. Sorry about that, I don't know what happened. The battery seemed to just go flat all of a sudden. I guess it wasn't fully charged since it was so new but anyway, Thank you so much for watching. Merry Christmas. Cheers from me and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.